Today Engineering News speaks with Ray Kirby, who in May retired at the age of 87 from Avenge Manufacturing DFC's mining division, and we will be discussing Ray's career and his experience with the development of valves, with a particular focus on valves in the mining industry. Good morning, Ray. Good morning to you, Ellen. And uh, <coughs> what is your view in terms of selecting the right valves for the industry? I cannot overstress the importance of this to everybody, to get long life, satisfactory performance. I've seen so many instances of wrong selection. And if people would refer to our resources, and generally in the valve industry, if they would learn to ask questions. And it's up to us in visiting people like project houses to ask the right questions. We don't expect the client to know what to ask us. So we have a um, pretty good idea of what we should be asking. And it is important to select the right type of valve in the first place. We have such a variety of valves. A ball valve wouldn't be suitable on abrasive duties. So you don't select a number of valves you can eliminate. But when you come into mining industry, which is invariably abrasive, first and foremost, it can also be corrosive. It can also be high temperature. We have all these factors to bear in mind. And right at the early stages, we plead with people to sit with them. It's not a, a way of getting your valve specified. We are genuinely concerned about giving the right information to be used in the right way. Not always will they come to our company, but we cannot stress and over and over pick the right valve, the right materials for the right duty. And we do stress that in, in as much as we should follow it through and help wherever we can with the user. We find that we often supply top notch information to project houses. Invariably, this is not passed on to the poor guy who has got to operate the valve, maintain the valve. We go to site regularly. We have a team of people going visiting. And it's important, imperative, that training how to operate the valve, how to use the valve, how to change the valve is so important. So we start with the project house selecting the right valve, right material. I'm stressing it because it's so important. He's going to get incredible benefit. His client must will go back to him for more business if they do a proper job in selecting valves. But it applies to all the equipment. But we are only focusing on valves. It doesn't sound important, but if a valve fails, the plant fails. It's a vital piece of equipment, and it's got to operate for a long time efficiently. So select right materials, right product, and follow it through with everybody in the chain, right through to the poor guy on site. And I have been to so many, he doesn't know what little screws are for. He doesn't know what packing material to use. How to, he doesn't know anything. And invariably, the valve is operated until it fails. Sunday night, 10 o'clock, they go and call somebody out. So you're going to be very, very unpopular if something fails. It, it, all valves will fail in time, but we can prevent it and program it so that it is maintained and serviced at the right and appropriate and convenient time. I, I, 
would go over this time and time and time again. It is the most important thing, I believe. Thank you, Ray. That was Ray Kirby speaking on his experience with valves over the course of his long and illustrious career.